get ready for one against the Warriors tonight. What were some of the key areas you're focusing on for your group tonight against them? Uh, our area of focus was more game planning, uh, understanding Steph and Clay and what they're capable of doing uh, at any given time throughout a game, knowing you're not going to stop guys like that, but you just have to make their jobs difficult, that it's a team effort, uh, not just one guy guarding them. And also the other playmaking that these other guys make throughout the game, and how they have you know three or four guys playing very good basketball right now. Your guys have you know seen Steph a few times now, probably in their over the course of their careers. But how much do you have to get used and accustomed to like this guy's going to hit a 30 yeah. foot shot at some point? and you just have to go and accept the next play. Well, that's the poise you have to have in playing against them because they're going to hit shots that aren't quote unquote normal. Um, he's, he's shooting four pointers and five pointers. And, and so your ability to just recognize what he's doing when he's doing it, and you got to tip your hat in those situations and continue to make it as difficult as you can without fouling them. But just know, keep the poise and get go down on the other end and make it hard for them to guard us as well. The fact that Golden State played last night in Miami, you guys haven't played in a few days. Is that an advantage at all, or does it not really matter? I, we will find out at 7 o'clock tonight. What, what was the status of Caleb and Gary? Uh, Caleb's going to go through a little shooting to, uh, right now to see how he feels, and then Gary is not available tonight. Are you looking halfway through this eight-game home stand, I know it's kind of like a quirk in the schedule, but what, what have you seen from the team through the first four games? What do you want to see in, in this back half of the home stand before you hit the, hit that final stretch? Uh, just continued energy, uh, focusing on our game plan night in and night out, and I think the more we can continue to look at it as, as one game series, that's it, one game at a time, uh, making sure that we focus in on the game plan, continue to get better at what we do. Uh, obviously, the opponent, they matter, but we have to make sure that we're focused on how we're continuing to get better, and over and over again, we'll say, playing our best basketball in March and April. That is the not having Gary potentially questionable about Kate, Caleb, how does that change things to be able to all in your lineup and You've gone through this before, but at this point in the year. Well, you said it, BD. We've gone through it before. So I think uh, coaches being able to give input on different lineups, what it looks like, different rotations, and our guys understand that. And I think that's been the beauty of going throughout the year of guys being in and out. You know, sometimes those are blessings in disguise because you get to this point of the year and you're comfortable putting anybody in the lineup because they know what they're capable of doing and, and how, how they continue to help us become successful. How much are you still thinking about or, or think, uh, experimenting a little bit with lineup and playing? Because I know you've been trying Jonathan, Jonathan at the, as kind of the backup center almost. Like At this point of the year, are you, are, are you, are you still kind of experimenting with some playing groups and seeing seeing what might, what might be feasible in the playoffs? Well, in this moment, it, it's happened because of injury, so you're forced to, you know, forced to tinker with some situations and different, different lineups. But for the most part, you're looking at whatever the matchups you know, present to you. I think we'll look at more and more so what, what lineups do well against certain, you know, what certain defenses and certain offenses. We'll have to continue to take all that into consideration, uh, but not getting away from what we're capable of doing no matter who we put out there. You know, his ability to, to guard multiple positions, uh, I think the other night was, was great, you know, watching him defend, you know, with on Zion and, and then Valachunas, uh, and then mixing it up and being able to switch on the BI at times. Uh, I think his, his ability just to guard multiple players and multiple positions and really sit down and guard and not look for switches or, or you know, someone to come change the matchup. Uh, and then he can bang with the bigs. I really think that it's such a unique quality that someone of his size and stature can move the way in which he does with a basketball IQ. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thank you. you all. You know, what are the, the challenges for your group tonight and what you want to see them accomplish against the Warriors? Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting uh, to be playing meaningful basketball this time of year. Uh, not only will their games matter, but our games matter. Um, you know, it's different, you know, and I'm excited for it, as, as are we all. Um, I just think we have to be, you know, more attention to detail tonight, you know, than usual. Uh, you know, they play a different play style. You know, they got guys who get really hot. And, you know, they have legends, you know, in this game, you know, and Steph, Clay, Draymond, we've seen everything that this sport can throw at you. Um, so I think really being locked in, uh, having attention to detail, and then just kind of withstanding runs, withstanding big shots, I think will be important for us tonight. Kind of along those lines, I can't imagine what it's like to guard Steph, but when you play, you know, high-end defense as, as much as you're capable of and he still hits a, a 30-footer, like what kind of mentality do you have to have to, to be ready for that? Next play mentality, um, you know, and understanding that he's a great player, um, you know, one of the best that this game has seen, and 
you know, I acknowledge that and I respect that. This is why I think I get so, you know, excited and, uh, you know, look forward to these matchups because this is, I think, a great test for me, not only myself for us as a, but for us as a team. You know, this is a team that wants to be in the playoffs, who's been in the playoffs, uh, you know, who's going to get, you know, one of those spots this year. And, uh, you know, they're going to give us everything we got. Same thing that they just did to Miami last night. So, uh, yeah, really excited, you know, looking forward to the matchup and, uh, you know, looking forward to really at the end of the day getting a win. I think again, not overreacting to anything that's going on out there. You know, whether it's one of their runs where they hit a couple threes in a row with some tough shots, um, kind of understanding, knowing what they're going to run, and staying disciplined enough to, to do the same thing over and over. You know, chase over the ball screens. You know, make sure that we're stunned, make sure that we're in gaps and uh, and locked in on that end of the ball. And then on the offensive side. Making sure they're moving it, you know, making them move, uh, you know, forcing actions, and I have making them guard, you know, multiple things in the possession. You know, I think having the discipline to do that over and over is what separates those teams. Uh, so, I think that that's one thing that that's on all of our minds, and uh, you know, we've watched it, we've watched the last game, we've watched their games coming up. So, you know, I think we're as prepared as can be. Now it's about going to execute. We have three games in the next four days. Tough, tough stretch right now. Seventy games under your belt. Um. It's always tough. Every game this time of year hurts a bit more. Um, you know, all, all those diving on the floor and little plays hurt a bit more. But I mean, you do it to be in this situation, you know, to be in a point where it, this does matter. You know, these games matter. And, uh, you know, I think we're all excited. Everybody's competitive in this building, you know, from the players to the staff to the front office. Everyone wants to win, you know, along with people in the city. You know, that's what they've been waiting for. So, you know, having everybody on that collective mission, on a collective mindset, um, you know, I think not only improves everybody's play, um, but helps us get better, helps us stay locked in. And, you know, I think that's what we felt this past couple of days and we're going to continue to uh, continue to do going into this three and four. I know you guys are kind of breaking the rest of the season down into kind of five new segments, but you're halfway through this homestand. What do you, what do you guys kind of gain from the first four games of this homestand? What do you want to do to finish, finish this homestand before the, the road stretch of the end of the season? Uh, continue to win, continue to get better, um, continue to separate ourselves. and and cement ourselves in, in playoff play, I think is a, the ultimate goal. Um, you know, this has been a good a good homestand to take care of the body, get a good mental reset, you know, not have to worry about travel, hotel, late night getting in. Um, you know, there's a lot of constants when you're home. You know, going from the practice facility to the crib, from games to the crib, um, you know, it just makes everything a bit easier. Um, so really looking to take advantage while we're here, you know, and that we're getting this at the end of the season during this tough stretch. So, um, yeah, really just capitalizing. In terms of trying to establish yourself, kind of, as, as yourselves as a playoff, as a playoff team, how important were the games against New Orleans, Sacramento, and then these next two games coming up against the playoff caliber opponents? Uh, all very important, uh, whether, whether we're playing playoff opponents or not. Um, you know, these, these games matter. Um, you know, and the guys are looking to get better. You know, we're looking to continue to build a rhythm and a flow uh, going into that. Um, you know, because that's where we positioned ourselves. You know, I think it's cool. Um, you know, you, you want to be humble. You know, and you want to, you know, take it to the last game. You know, not say anything before it gets there. But you know, that's the reality of the situation that we're in. I think we'd be remiss, you know, not to accept that. You know, acknowledge that and, and use it not only as motivation. You know, but you know, as joy, you know, as fuel, you know, to continue hooping, continue getting better. So, um, really looking to just close this home stand off the right way. Uh, continue to play good basketball and uh, go get us another one. Jalen, you've obviously you know, played the Warriors many times before in your career, but tonight's obviously different with you guys being in the playoff run, the Warriors being in the playoff run. How much more special does it make tonight and the atmosphere to be? Um, the atmosphere in there has been great, regardless of the opponent all year. Uh, so, really excited just to play at home for one. Um, but two, like I said, just, just a good chance to continue practicing, you know, what we preach and what we work on in here every day. You know, and that's doing it against one of the highest level, you know, teams and players, uh, you know, this league has to offer. So, you know, really just more excitement than anything. You know, it might not seem like it, but, uh, you know, really excited, looking forward to this one and, uh, you know, ready to get out there, have fun with the boys, uh, you know, rock out and, you know, hear the curious and allow. Appreciate it, y'all.